Hi guys, here we are outside SOAS Studios and we are going to continue our mindful art series. Today we are going to create bluebell tiles. Okay, so here we are. We have our bluebells that we picked earlier and this is what we're going to start with. So as you can see, to make our bluebell tile you'll need clay. Okay, and I've rolled it out. I put cellophane on top to preserve the moisture. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. And just to say also, um, you will need some baking paper or something like that right underneath so when you peel it off it doesn't stick to the board underneath. So we can take our bluebells and just be mindful as well of uh, this exercise. It's to do with touch, sight, and also smell. Lovely. Okay, they smell gorgeous. So as we're doing this, just connect to this process and focus on the process and let all the worries just stand by. Okay, so we can just relax, focus and enjoy. Okay, so what we do, what we're doing is we're just placing them gently. And you can think about the composition um, a little bit. You know, mix them up with some other types of plants. Now you can take anything from your garden, um, anything at all. Weeds are great too because they have lovely patterns and shapes. To really connect to the touch and where you place it visually. So now we're going to take a piece of white paper and we can just put any old paper of course and just put it on top Push it down a little, your hands first, smooth it down again, just notice the touch, your hands, the paper, notice and focus. Oh, we just take our roller, old clay roller is fine, and then you just roll over, hold the paper in the same position. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to press a little bit more just to get a little bit more embossed impression. Okay, I'm going to peel it off. Yeah, okay. okay. So the next step, we need to take all of these out of our clay. Okay, I've got this nice tool here. Help, helps pick it out. Okay, you can use your fingers as well. But as you're picking out, just make sure you're not using your putting your fingers into the clay. Gorgeous. It's a very delicate one, that one. Some of them might be dug quite deep. It's okay. Gradually take them out. See the lines coming here. Beautiful. Gradually. Really take your time and enjoy the process. It's not about the product necessarily, it's about the process. Really connecting with the process. So now we have everything removed. And what we need to do next is make a boundary around the edge. And to do that, we are going to use clay. We have our spare clay here and to make our wall around the boundary just squeeze it into shape kind of like a rectangle if you like and you just pop it to the edge make sure it's stuck secure so the great thing about using clay is it's very tactile, very sensory and you can press into it and enjoy that connection as you're going along the wall of this tile. So we finished our frame and now we need plaster to go inside to make this embossed piece. Okay, so we get plaster from the art shop. Um, this is fine plaster so it's good with moulding. Okay. And we also need a bucket and it says on the instructions how much water you need to the plaster. 
So here we are, we're going to mix it together and we're going to come back. So in goes the plaster. bubbles out. Okay, and now we just wait. So here we are back in the studio after waiting overnight for the plaster to dry and now we can have a look at our results. So we just peel this away. Okay. Now we're going to turn it over actually. Okay. So here we are. Our imprint, you can see all the flowers that you put down. You put down all the flowers. And the twirl here. Lovely. See all the fine marks here. Now you can paint this once it's fully dry, it's a little bit damp, and you can paint all the detail of the bluebells. You see the little heads there? Absolutely beautiful. So I really enjoyed doing this um, and I hope you enjoyed the video.